As Libya fell into a deep crisis, experiencing violence and unrest, thousands of refugees fled to the nearby borders of Egypt and Tunisia. Various media houses around the globe began broadcasting heart-wrenching images and footage of the severe violence and fighting that had gripped Libya. This prompted a humanitarian response from the international humanitarian community. The Al Imdad Foundation, being an international relief organization, was no exception. A robust humanitarian operation was talked out and various relief teams were mobilized immediately. Shusha refugee camp. This was now the home of thousands of refugees who had fled Libya in fear of their lives. The Shusha refugee camp was a part of the Sahara Desert. The sunsets were beautiful and breathtaking, whilst the nights were extremely cold. We are now at the family section of the Shusha refugee camp with our female personnel visiting tent to tent and assessing the needs of women. Those who require sanitary packs and sanitary products will receive a voucher and in a few minutes time, inshallah azawajal, a distribution will be taking place purely for the women who require sanitary products and packs. Most of the refugees hailed from Bangladesh, Somalia, Eritrea, Nigeria, Sudan, Chad, Egypt, Palestine and Ghana. The Al Imdad Foundation thrives on professionalism and as you can see there is a systematic manner in which the meals are being given to the refugees who are here this afternoon. We have security from the military who are maintaining the calm and order and at the same token we are also pleased to say that the meals which have been presented to the refugees are quite wholesome indeed. Each meal comes as well with a fresh juice and this has really brought a smile to the many 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 hungry refugees which you see behind us. It was sad to hear heart-wrenching stories of escape and survival from war-torn Libya. The Al Imdad Foundation is a purely humanitarian organization playing no role whatsoever in any political game. Its only duty was to render humanitarian services and relief aid to the poor, needy and destitute refugees who had left Libya with little or no belongings at all. As part of Anim Dad's protocols, the South African flag is always flown high at all of its distributions and humanitarian operations, thereby firmly establishing a strong South African presence. The huge South African flag flown at the Shusha refugee camp made a bold impression amidst a sea of tents surrounding it. A timetable of humanitarian activities and information was disseminated to the refugees. On a daily basis, hot, nutritious meals were prepared and served to the refugees. In addition, high-protein biscuits, clean water, milk, French bread and cheese were also distributed to the refugees. Good food has always been a priority for us at the Al Indar Foundation and the refugees were truly thankful for this kind gesture. The rice dish served was welcome and mostly appreciated by the Bangladeshi refugee population. 
The climax of all distributions is to experience the smiles of gratitude on the faces of those in need. Our hearts felt satisfied knowing that we were making a positive difference in the lives of these affected people. UNHCR officials also visited the Al Imdad base camp from time to time. Many a times we find that the needs of women and children in disasters are unintentionally forgotten but they too have certain specific needs which need to be attended to. The Al Imdad Foundation have received numerous forms of recognition for its sterling initiatives in the Shusha refugee camp, making a positive difference to the lives of those who had to flee Libya not at their own will. The Al Imdad Foundation, striving to serve humanity.